All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back with Sophie, and <laughs> we're gonna be remaking a video we made in the beginning of this channel. I'm gonna show you the, the rigs and the techniques that you need to fish this lake. Now, I'm not saying this is the ultimate guide to Fairmont Park, but if you're just trying to put your kids on some fish, this is the, the video for you. This is what Sophie uses. This is what works. It's, it's, we've been using it for years. With that being said, here's the video. Rod and real combo. I think Walmart came out with a good medium for a variety of fish. It's all you need and they come with the real. And then of course, here's those crappie nibbles. Stock up on these. They have the white, the chartreuse. These, these work really good. I don't care what lake you're on, those things catch fish. In terms of hooks, look for size six or size eight and then also look for these drop shot weights they're like a dollar six uh, another cheaper route would be to use the split shots i think the size five are perfect at 22 versus 10 so yeah that's that's another cheaper alternative you have to come to a different walmart but here they got trilene four pound which is good you also got maxima four pound now as far as bait some of these grubs really good they're dollar 73. this is like the christmas color ones or rasta color and you got these white grubs these are good too chartreuse this is good and you just basically pair that up with a jig head i usually like using a 132 ounce you can do the minnow head um, or the ball head jig these are only two dollars and seventy cents and you pair those up with the the grubs which i'll show you later on in the video and that's pretty much it if you guys have any more questions please comment down below and i'll try to help you out as best as i can so here's the first setup this is the drop shot i've actually posted this in several videos it's a little one eighth of an ounce to a six hook and a crappie nibble What makes it easy to catch fish here, if you're a beginner or if you're trying to get your kids on fish, all along the cement line, all this cement, there's gonna be roots all over the lake. If you put a cropping nibble in front of that root line, a fish is gonna strike. And this is what you do, you cast it out and then you just bring it back little by little. I know kids don't like to wait. Sometimes you struggle to put your bail back on time or you know kids aren't paying attention this bait will sit right where the, where it needs to be for a fish to take it you don't have to worry about messing with the rod so this is what makes the rig so useful but you can let it sit there you can bring it in but as soon as you feel a bite you feel a tap all you have to do is reel it in a little bit faster and the fish will hook itself there you go something it's a little bluegill i bet it's tiny all right cool so I'm going to show you how to release a bluegill. You take your, your pliers. I have to show this because it's a little messed up when people don't release them correctly. Take your pliers. You grab the hook. Put it out in front of the water. You just turn it the opposite way so it just comes right off. A lot of times fish wiggle out. Just wiggle it out the opposite direction. Like that so it comes off. What also works is trying to hit nice little shady areas like this. It seems like they like, the fish like the warm water, but they also like some shade. I think it's just so they can have some cover. Right? What do you think, bud? Think I'm right? Yeah. <laughs> See? This, these dark shady spots, they're good. I think this is a bluegill. Mm. 
Yep, I knew it's a bluegill. And if I haven't told you already, when you release these, grab it by the hook, shake it off. It'll come right off. See? Like that. These work really well because the tail gives off a lot of action in the water. You don't have to jig it like I do. You don't have to twist the rod. All you have to do is point your rod down and retrieve it. The curly tail always goes the opposite direction of the hook. So if I do a close up on the grub, this is what the fish are gonna see. The faster you move it, see that tail action? That's what the fish want to see. So that's why we're gonna be retrieving it the whole time and not twitching it. So you cast it out as far as you can, let it sink for a bit, and just begin retrieving, keeping your rod tip down. Don't be afraid to move. It's good to move because fish move. You know, one minute they're one spot, then they'll move out somewhere else. Man, this water is really dirty. Like if it rained. It's also good to cast parallel to the bank. This right here is a bank. So, there we go. Oh, got something. See, told you it was good. And also now you know that these curly tails work. Oh, what? It's a trout. That's insane. That is insane. Four pound line. You have a net? Yeah. I just met a subscriber. You usually find subscribers out here. Now this is where I'm gonna end the video. I think I'm gonna make a part two, but I'll need you guys' help. Please comment below what you think I should cover for the next video. I also know I forgot the trout magnet and bobber setup, so that's coming up next. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.